It's in all the Queensland now where some 80,000 bats have taken over the town of Charters Towers. Local council is trying to everything from smoke machines to water cannons in a bid to try and drive those bats away. Alison Horn reports. Well, that's the sound of the 80,000 smelly, noisy and mostly unwelcome bats that have taken over this park. The Charters Towers Council wants to get rid of them and they've taken extraordinary measures, including using helicopters, smoke machines and water cannons to drive the bats out of town. Some residents say the stench from the bat feces has forced them inside and after months of living with the smell and the sound, some are ready to leave town. They've got faeces coming down, raining in their yards, on their cars. It stinks, it smells some days, it's that unbearable. You just, you can't open your doors. But the bat program hasn't come without its controversy. Conservationists were locked out of this park and from across the world they've contacted the council saying the program may be harmful for the young babies that could be killed. So they have no chance to fly off, they have no chance to save their babies, they're just on the ground and they're probably injured, they could die. The residents of Charters Towers have lined the streets to see the bats be removed, but it remains to be seen whether or not the program is successful. Oh, you got to be you got to be really careful about this one. Let me tell you why. Because oh, <laughs> as, <laughs> well, because I've been caught in the bat firing line before as well. Um, I, I uh, when I was on radio, um, the city that I was broadcasting from had just the same problem, and these mm. bats have come and gone, as you know, from Sydney and Melbourne and elsewhere. And the same measures have been used: water cannon, um, loud noise, music to scare them away, um, rooks set up elsewhere to sort of attract them there. And others were suggesting, look, you know, they're not endangered. There should be sort of some culling of them, you know, some shooting of them. Getting Measured there. culling. And it yeah. seemed to me to be a reasonable thing. Oh, my goodness me. Don't, oh, really? Don't go suggesting that. So there are bat lovers. Well, look, they're, they're, an, there, which they're we an, saw in Alison's report. Exactly. They're an Australian native and, um, mm. and many people, you know, regard them well, have high, greater affection for them than they do for many people. <laughs> and, uh, and so they, they get very angry when you suggest that. I'm not suggesting culling, but I can see that they're a huge problem. And they do carry disease. I know that in Melbourne and in Sydney's Botanic Gardens, um, you know, where they can sort of nest and their droppings are everywhere, that there's a potential for passing on disease, particularly to children and kids who might be along the ground. Yeah. So anyway. I'll leave that one to you. Yeah, good. Uh, you're, you're very wisely staying clear. <laughs> He's so wise.